Hey guys, welcome back. Hi. I'm Jeremy. Angela. And this is Living the Dream Off Grid. Damn it! Living the Dream Homestead. We've changed our names a few times. You'll see in the older videos if you've watched any of them. Living the Dream Off Grid Homestead? Yeah. Yeah. We, we had them all. <laughs> we're living the dream homestead. It's what we were to begin with, and that's what we are now. <laughs> I'm sure you've noticed it. Anyhow, while we've been gone, we've been doing some work. I had a couple pallets left over from the barn and thought I'd go ahead and make this woodshed dried in, give it a little doorway, and kind of make it its own little structure. Again, Homestead Depot. Got to get some siding I'm going to be putting on this shed. Soffit material that came from that one uh, construction site. It's going to be a siding as well. And then there's more right there. Oh, what a junkyard. But I love it. So I went ahead and used that leftover material from that build that was down the road. And then uh, went ahead and wanted to tie in some of the log look from the cabin. And then the soffits from the top. Turned out pretty good. That's going to let airflow through pretty well for the wood drying in there. Turns out pretty good. I like it. This is our beautiful little woodshed. Or at least I think it's beautiful. It's all materials that we've used. You know, all this was soffit material. This is the back of the cabin right now. If you look at the back, I'll link a link in there, a picture in there. But uh, just kind of going with that same theme, tying in with the cabin here. Should hold a fair amount of wood for the winter. It's not finished, as you can see. <laughs> Everything around here. There's still some stuff that needs to be done there. But, got a nice little latch. Come on in. We've probably got about three cord in there right now. We need to fill this thing all the way up. But, it's a start. Okay, guys, so we've got a chicken coop we need to finish. We're going to start on that soon. That's right back here. Remember the cowgirl in our temporary coop we did? There's a video right there for it. But uh, <laughs> temporary is time to be done. We started on this one, and things happened on the farm. We lost Angie's mom. Yeah. It's been tough. Um... Getting back into working on projects has been a little harder, dealing with all that. But we're going to try and get some videos out for you guys more and more. So, we're going to finish this thing. Or finish it. We're going to get started on it. So, we would started earlier this summer. We put the roof on, and then we got the sides up. Hadn't started the boxes yet. We're getting ready to do that, and then things went the way they did. So, our project next is to get this thing done. Not to mention what we've got over there. So we've made a little bit of progress on the barn, but we're at a holding point. So my neighbor worked out a deal with me. We've got, we got some good deals on pallets recently. Ask her, I, I'm, I'm all about the pallets. But uh, I got these pallets that are 13 foot tall, seven foot, I'm sorry, 13 foot long, seven foot tall. So, instant barn. So he's going to build a barn with some of the pallets I got for him. And he's going to mill me the, the beams to go across here. In the meantime, we're going to work on that chicken coop. But, we just wanted to kind of touch base, check in, say hi. I feel like Penn and Teller here. <laughs> What's up, Teller? You had enough talking on the last video? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> We're going to finish up the little coop. It's just a little coop. It's for my silkies. I need to get them separate from the other chickens so that I can breed and hopefully make a few bucks. What are you going to breed? Straight silkies again or are you going to go? Oh, I've got all sorts of projects going. I've got my silkies. I've got... Keep that under wraps. <laughs> no one needs to know. My bantam turkins. Uh, whole bunch Polish standard turkins. I'm going all out this year. I'm going to do it. Yeah, this is the year. It's, you know, winter's coming, of course, so it'll be next year. Next year's the year. That's it. Not this year. Wow. <laughs> there are no seasons for chicken breeding, so. So they lay less eggs in the winter? They do. So there is a season. Ish, but you want to be ready by spring. Gotcha. 
か。It's so hard to catch her, make her talk. So our next project's gonna be finishing up the coop we started the summer, and then things went sideways. Yeah, my mom passed away mid-August, and we were all pretty close to her, so it, j it just hit us hard, and videos got put on hold. Um, didn't get a whole lot of anything done, just been kind of dealing with stuff. But, uh, we had family up for a little bit. They came up and visited. Yeah. Um, it's hard to make videos. She was always my director, I guess, or I don't know what you'd call it. She was always Criticizer. in the background. Criticizer. <laughs> she was always in the background. She was always there talking and, you know, listen, helping me come up with things to talk about. I, I miss having her around. We're going to miss you, Janice. We love you. Yeah. So we're going to get back to work. We're going to try to wrap some stuff up here. Yeah, before a snow flies. Yeah, it's coming. we got wood to get. we got the barn to build. A coop to finish. A trailer to move. Fencing to put up. I mean, this is all lots of stuff. But we'll plug away at it. Anyway, guys, get out there. Start living your dreams. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's go, Brandon.